India is preparing to launch the next variant of the Agni 5 design, which is the Agni 6 design. It has issued no time notices to all uh, airlines around to stay clear of an area of about 3,800 square, uh, 800 meters from the test range in Odisha. Now, that clearance, level of clearance means that if you fire the missile up into the atmosphere, beyond the atmosphere and back, then we could cover a range of almost uh, uh, 12,000 kilometers, 10 to 12,000 kilometers range we could achieve with Agni 6, which puts India into the inter- Continental Ballistic Missile Club, a very highly elite club. Today, we are extremely grateful to President, former President Abdul Kalam, the late President Abdul Kalam, who initiated India's integrated guided missile program. Agni 1, Agni 2, Agni 3, 4 and 5 are uh, the various steps of this program, successful uh, steps of this program and today we are heading for Agni 6. Some people were calling it Agni 10 but I believe this is the Agni 6 which could easily have a range of 10 to 12,000 kilometers and be worked. We are also worked on an Agni which is conventional tip Agni 5. It carry a 3,000 kilogram warhead. The mother of all bunker buster bombs. So that next time, you know, uh, Mullah Asim Munir wants to hide in the Mariam bunker, we will take it out and end Mullah Munir's pipe dream. He is crying for Shahadat. We could give him that Shahadat. It is the same integrated guided missile program, defense program. That has also given us the Prithvi series of missile, the Akash series of missile, advanced next generation, Akash next generation, Akash advanced. And the, the we have this has been tested during Ops in Dur. The single Akash missile had 90% hit probability. Fired in salvos, it gives you a hit probability of 98%. India has its own iron dome today which proved successful during, which proved highly successful during Operation Sindur. Not one Pakistani jet fighter could come this side, not one Pakistani cruise missile, not one Pakistani ballistic missile, and 90% of their drones were shot out of the skies. Today, we can thank President Abdul Kalam, one of the greatest sons of India, to bequeath to us this tradition of self-reliance. Atmanirbhar Bharat is now a reality. Jai Bharat, Jai Hind.